All right, Joe Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we're going to go over this fine car here sitting beside me right here. This is a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro SS. And yes, it is a real super sport car. So we're going to start off, obviously, the exterior of the car done in the correct Le Mans blue color. Um, it's got, obviously, the steel SS hood. The SS stripe, the reverse hockey stripe that comes around the nose and down the side of the car, and it would have come with the vinyl top. So this is all correct for this car. Um, as you can see, we've got all the emblems on this. So we've got the 396 emblem up front on the fender, which does uh, verify what is under the hood here. We've got the Camaro script with the SS here on the fenders. All of our trim, our bright work moldings bumpers all of the finish on these is polished up very nicely everything's nice and straight no dents or dings and anything wheels and tires they kept this thing looking very traditional with the factory style uh, GM rally wheels here with the trim rings and the center caps and then we also got the red line tires those are Firestone wide oval tires and those are F7014s as well, far as all the glass goes all the glass is in great shape side windows here look to be slightly tinted here and again these are in great condition there's no chips or cracks in any of it mirrors we have on both sides they're chrome mirrors the rectangular mirrors driver and passenger side the glass and nose is in great shape no pitting on the chrome either obviously all of our panel fitment our door with our fenders and our quarters the elevations and your gaps these are all in alignment and adjusted very nicely Again, you've got that molding down along the bottom, the rocker molding there for the SS, and you've got your rain gutter molding here. Now, as I feel down through this rain gutter, I always look to see if that's nice and smooth through there, and our car is. Even along the trim here, along the edges of that vinyl top, that's where you would normally see any kind of problems there, and this is nice and smooth the whole way around. Um, again, quarter panels, those are very straight. The doors are straight. No waviness, no dents or dings down the side of the car either. Um, now we're going to open up our door, take a look inside since we've been down the driver's side of the car. Inside we've got a full black vinyl interior. We've got the bucket seats up front. We've got the factory SS steering wheel with horn button. Factory instrumentation uh, in this car. We've got seat belts. Uh, in the front here, we've got a factory uh, four-speed center console in there too. Um, we'll look at it from the other side too, but door panels, upholstery, uh, carpeting, headliner, all of that is in good shape. The door shuts nice and easy too. So as we come around the back side, you're going to notice we've got the rear trunk spoiler on this car. Again, in great shape. Your trunk, all your gaps and elevations on your trunk with your quarter panels, those are all very nicely done. Again, nice and smooth the whole way along here. All of your trim and moldings very nicely polished up and your rear glass. Again, tinted, no chips or cracks in that window. If you come down to the tail panel now, you're going to notice this is blacked up. That would be correct for a big block SS car. Tail light lenses and bezels are all in great shape. You got the SS gas cap. Rear bumper, the chrome is in excellent shape. There's no pitting there. You've got the bumper guards there, or bumperettes as some people call them. Um, those are in great shape too. We're going to open up our trunk lid, and then we'll take a look inside. So the trunk lock pops, it works. The hinges and the spring on the trunk lid, that works too as it's holding everything up. You can see the underside of the trunk lid painted that same Le Mans blue. You've got your decal here for your spare and your bumper jack uh, directions and down here you do have a spare um, again steel wheel it is a Firestone tire uh, we've got a nice looking trunk mat in here too and then as you can see all of your weather stripping around your trunk is in very good condition there's no pieces taken out of it no rips or tears all in good shape nice and soft too so it's going to seal up real nice for you close that up closes up nice and snug and we'll come around the passenger side. Now again, same thing over here. All of your uh, side marker light bezels and lenses, those are in great shape. All of your wheel trim moldings, those are in great shape too. Again, we come over to the glass. Glass is in excellent shape. Uh, your rain gutter moldings here and through the rain gutter, 
all very good. Again, nice and smooth the whole way around. Mirror on the passenger side, again, no pitting whatsoever in that chrome. Your door gaps on the back side and the front, very uniform. Again, your uh, elevations with your front fender and your rear quarter panel are very well too. Let's open this door up. Again, you're going to notice there's no uh, rips or tears in the upholstery. There's no uh, tears or fading in the carpeting. And your dash is in great shape. There's no cracks in the dash pad either. So everything in this car so far looks very, very good. And your weather stripping around your doors too, around your windows, those are in excellent shape too. Matching emblems side to side. Again, the 396 emblems is what is in it. And we're going to get there here in just a minute. Uh, again, this is your steel hood, SS hood. You've got the louvers up here. Again, you can see how nicely those are shined up. Again, your gaps and your elevations on your hood, everything all lines up very nice. That black stripe that's on the front of this car, again, very nice. Your grill, SS emblem right in the center. The grill is all intact. There's no, uh, no cracks or any breaks in that grill. All of your trim around the grill and around your lights, those are nice lenses in your parking lights and your uh, regular driving lights here those are all in great shape chrome front bumper again no pitting and then down below you've got that front air dam for the car to finish out the look now let's go inside and under the hood there we go hood latch pops open really nice there so the underside of the hood, first off you can see it's been painted also. We do have the hood insulation here and it's tacked up very nice. You don't see any pieces hanging down, you don't see any sections missing out or torn here so that's in really nice shape. In the engine compartment you will notice um, as I'll go over on the underside video with you, we do have some of the markering that they would have done um, like from the factory along the assembly line just to check things off to make sure things were done. As far as the engine goes, this is a 396 cubic inch motor. Now where it is not the original numbers match motor, it is a what they would consider a counter motor or like a warranty replacement motor for this car. So it was made, you know, specifically to be put in this car for warranty. Um, the block casting number tells us it is a 69 block, so it, it's right around that time for, uh, period too. So again, it should be the block that should be in here. Underneath here, we've got aluminum intake. We've got stock cast exhaust manifolds. Um, we have the, um, the point style ignition with the external coil on it. Looks like we've got some newer uh, plug wires down here too. Now as far as the exhaust, like I said, we've already got the cast exhaust manifolds. Those do dump into a set of dual two and a half inch exhaust um, going into what I believe is a set of uh, turbo style mufflers there and tailpipes out in the back as it should be. Um, stock style radiator with the shroud. A clutch fan in there too, uh, just as it should have been from the factory. We've got power steering on this car. Manual brake, it is a four wheel drum brake car, but it does stop very well. Now, uh, backing up this motor for a transmission, we've got the Muncie M21 transmission. And then for the rear end, it's a 12 bolt, GM 12 bolt. It's a 373 gear and it is a posi unit for this car. So again, you've got the big block, you've got the four speed, um, you've got all the looks here with the air dam, the rear spoiler, the, uh, the correct Le Mans blue color, and um, the uh, vinyl top here, black stripes, SS car, where could you go wrong? This is a super nice car for somebody here. So um, we're all done going around the outside and through the inside of the car. Next we're going to get it on our lift so that we can show you the underside and how nice that looks. All right, so here we are underneath our 68 Camaro SS. We're going to go through everything um, that we normally do, the steering, the suspension, braking, uh, floors, frame, etc. down here as we do with everything. We're going to start up front here. Now, on this car, we've got all the stock suspension. So your front cross member, upper and lower control arms, those are all stock factory stamped steel components. The steering on this car, all stock components there too. Your tie rods, all of your ball joints all have the rubber dust boot covers on them, including the ball joints on your upper and lower control arms. You can tell everything's been greased up. Now one thing I do want to mention as you look underneath here, 
um, whether you can see it in the camera or after you would get it, you'll notice that most of the components underneath here, you're going to see paint marker markings all along the bottom here. That is exactly how this car would have come from the factory. That's their check mark, you know, checking off of things to make sure everything was done on the car as it was rolling through the assembly line. So that's what you'll see underneath here. Um, as far as the shocks go up front, it looks like they've got uh, a fairly newer set of shocks on them too. Um, getting the drag lengths nice and straight. We do have a sway bar on the front of this car to help with the hand length and all the bushings, the frame bushings and the uh, uh, sway bar end lengths. Those are all in great shape. Now as far as the braking on this car, it's a four wheel drum brake car, um, but it stops and stop, starts on a dime it works really well far as our drive line we'll just take a minute to talk about that we have a big block motor here this is a 396 cubic inch big block chevy now it is not the numbers match motor but we have checked the um, the suffix code the date code and so forth that's on the stamp pad on the front of the motor and what this is is it's a uh, I think they called it like a counter motor which would be the equivalent of like a warranty replacement engine um, so without it being numbers matching it would be basically the next best thing it was something that Chevrolet or GM actually bought for this particular car and put in it so that's a, a rundown on the engine far as the transmission this is the Muncie M21 four speed it's got nice aluminum uh, bell housing on it and it has the flywheel cover um, no leaks that I can see along here even back at the seal at the tail shaft our oil pan nice and dry on the engine as well drive shaft is balanced so that's going to eliminate any kind of vibrations you might feel there and then as far as the rear end this is a GM 12 bolt rear end it's got a 373 gear ratio in it. It is a posi unit. Rear suspension is by way of multi-leaf uh, springs back here. And again, we've got matching shocks just like on the front of the car. Fuel tank, you can see that it is in excellent shape here. No dents or dings in it. Again, it's never been painted. And again, it's in great shape. All of your mounting hardware, the straps and so forth, those are all in great shape. And the trunk floor from what we can see here with with that uh, gas tank in place, that all looks to be in really good shape. Exhaust work, dual exhaust, coming all the way from our stock cast exhaust manifolds, two and a half inch pipes the whole way back, and then it looks like we've got a set of uh, probably like turbo-like mufflers back here, and then of course we've got the tailpipes over top of the rear end, and then the uh, tailpipes exiting between the leaf spring and the rear uh, quarter panel on the car just as they should. As far as the frame and floors, the subframe, you can see it. It is in excellent shape, nice and straight. There's no uh, dings in it. Uh, again, nice and square too. The body mount bushings, those are in good shape. You can see here all of the emergency brake cables are all present and all hooked up as they should be. Even all your frame hooks and so forth like that all the way back to your rear brakes. Um, the floors, you can see those. No patching whatsoever on the floors. They're nice and straight. Um, you can see all the stamping marks, all the drain plugs are in where they need to be. Um, they're in great shape. Again, not, uh, not really undercoated. If they are, it's ever so slight. Probably what would have come from the factory. Um, so again, these floors are in excellent shape. Brake lines and fuel lines are run right along the side of the car here underneath on both sides and all that's in good shape. As far as the rest of the running gear, wheels and tires, 14 inch factory uh, GM rally wheels. Um, they are the steel wheels with the trim rings and the center caps and then mounted on those are the Firestone wide oval tires, F70-14s, these are the red line tires. Uh, to keep with that classic look on the car. That's pretty much everything on the underside. We're going to go ahead and get the car down off of the lift now, go underneath the hood, fire that engine up, that way you get to hear what that big block sounds like. <laughs> 